Hi guys! So we're on episode three of our adult card class. So if you haven't seen the other episodes, um, Austin's gonna have them linked so that you guys can go click on those. And we've made fall cards and well, this is just random cards. So birthday, sympathy, and a whatever you would like kind of card. So I'm just gonna remind you what you guys need. Um, so I have a liquid Elmer's glue. I have a glue stick. I have some washi tape, but you can use scotch tape if you want. Um, I got a, pen, a black pen and a pencil and a pair of scissors. And I know you're not gonna believe this, but I forgot my paper towel once again. Can you believe this? Yes, I'm sure you can. If you guys know me at all, you can believe that I forget stuff, right? <laughs> okay, go get your paper towel. So just in case you have a glue mistake or it squirts out, you can wipe it up, okay? Okay, let's get started. <laughs> I'm so forgetful, you guys, sometimes. Okay, so um, you guys are going to get this card and it is actually going to be set up um, this way portrait style okay and you're going to have your big piece of card and you might get little fuzzies from cutting you can just um, pull those off um, okay so you're going to have uh, a couple of um, options in your bags i'm not sure which colors you got uh, there's these like blue on bluish purple which I really like blue is purple is my favorite and then like um, you can have these with the flowers with the foil and I'm not actually sure what flowers these are but you're gonna have this as an option and then everybody will have a sentiment that says happy thoughts coming your way okay so I'm gonna start on this guy and I'm going to what check my card to make sure it opens the right way because you know every once in a while you do that sneaky card flip and it opens the wrong way right okay so I'm gonna use my glue stick um, it's semi thick cardstock but I don't want it to bubble under the liquid glue so I'm gonna use my glue stick and I'm gonna get my edges because we gotta push those down, right? And I'm trying to get like an even coverage of the glue stick because it just makes everything stick better. And then you're gonna look over and you're gonna get this up to the edge. Oops, sorry, not the edge. So there, this one is another one that actually has the card base poking out all around it. So you can see the um, colors, okay? So these are actually going to go um, together. So here's a skinny piece and then this piece. And I would suggest laying them out like this um, so that you know which piece goes where you want it um, because sometimes we grab the wrong piece and we glue it in there. Now you can do it like this if you'd like. You could switch this around and do um, different um, ways like if there's no wrong way to put your colors um, you can do it any way you want. You can, you know, flip them. There's no, no particular way. That's what's nice about this card is you can put your own personal touch on it. So I'm actually gonna go and do this one more time. So I can try to get it as even as possible. But what's nice about this one is honestly, even if you don't get it even, our little sentiment circle is gonna cover that up. So. All is good. So I just pick one piece at a time because then that whole the other pieces are holding their spot for me so I know what's going on. 
and I am going to put it down there and then once this piece is down you're just gonna follow kind of follow its lead so you're gonna line it up with that piece so this bottom piece I'm gonna line up with this bottom of this top piece if that makes any sense okay and then of course push it down help it out and then I'm going to start with the top again and so you're going to line it up with the top here best you can because like I said we have kind of like a secret weapon with our circle because if it's not even we can kind of hide that right those kind of cards are always nice right because you, you know I don't always get stuff even too sometimes it's a little tricky and that's why I like using this glue stick and this liquid glue is it gives us the give it gives us a few minutes to move our paper around so that we have a chance to at least get it even right at home I use a tape runner and man that stuff just sticks immediately, and so if I don't got it right, I don't got it right. <laughs> okay, so this is another choice. If you have leftover paper, you can um, pop it up like we did the other things. So, like, let's show you. So this, and then you would add another piece of paper and trim it up, right? So it would pop up. I'm actually not going to pop it up because I know that this particular one is actually going to go through the mail. So I'm going to do it kind of as flat as possible. Um, I love cards with dimensions. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys prefer dimension or do you like the flat kind of cards? So I am going to put that here and see what I mean? Like it's going to hide the fact that that's not exactly uh, straight which is really nice. And then I'm gonna push it down. And there we go. So, you guys, I just realized what I forgot. Um, so if you open this, you can use one of these white pens or a colored pen to write in this. Um, otherwise, you guys are gonna to have to add a white piece of paper. I'm so sorry, I can't believe I forgot. Uh, oh my goodness, okay. So that's the first card. So happy thoughts are coming your way. Okay, on to the next one. Oops. This one is what is like considered color on color. And this one has choices too. I like to give you guys choices. I know. Sometimes that's a good thing. <laughs> um, so there is actually um, this color that you might get in your envelope. And it's this color if you might get it in your envelope. And you will have a card base. And it's going to be, uh, actually it's landscape, but you're going to turn it to the side, okay? So this one is to remind somebody, say like, hello, my friend. Okay, so here's your choices. So this um, has little words on it or it has the polka dots. Well, this is the same thing. So polka dots are words. So what the design is, um, again is to show the edges of the card so the card peeks out and you could actually do it this way if you really wanted to um, you could flip it this way you could um, do it to where they're both the writing so and then this actually is going to cover this and yes it's a little bit too long so you're going to need your scissors this time so um, I'm actually going to put my um, polka dots down um, so that they match, but then I'm going to remember to put my strip with the words up. Okay, so again, you just want to hold its spot. 
I'm going to use the um, glue stick. This is um, not really thick paper, so um, it might buckle under the liquid glue. We don't want to do that. That would definitely give it some dimension, wouldn't it, if it <laughs> got all bubbly, right? So try to remember to sit over your card just a little and push it down. Here I go with the second piece. And I am going to match as best I can, which is nice because we have one of those strips that actually can help us out. So it's meant to actually have a gap, okay? So you push yours all the way down and it's gonna have a gap right here in the middle because we're gonna cover that up with our strips, okay? So um, here is your choices. So it's a close, it's really close. Um, so you um, can scoot this over and glue it on and then cut it or you can um, try to cut it before you glue it on me personally I'm going to teach you a trick that when you glue it on and then you cut it okay so let's start with this guy so this guy actually goes first okay so I'm going to actually put mine all the way to the end, like that, and I'm going to push it down, and then, so just so you know, look at the way your words are faced, because I, I know you guys can't believe this, but I'm notorious for putting my words upside down, and then I find out later. I know, who has done that before, anybody? I have. So, and then I'm going to stick this right here. It's got all these funny sayings on it, too. I don't know if anybody reads the actual words, but they're pretty funny. Okay, so these are all attached. Okay, so here's the trick. You flip it over. And you are going to open your card and take your scissors. So, I'm... You could do it like this, but I prefer to flip the card over and then um, cut it. Okay, and then that way you have your whatever length you want. Okay, and now I have this piece. Um, you could put it pretty much wherever you want in the card. So you could put it here. Put it up here, up here. You could make it dance all around. No, I'm gonna put mine right here. And um, so let's see. I think we should bump that up a little bit. So I'm gonna take this guy. I have an extra one of those. And then you guys can use your paper and do the middle. And like, if you want to, if you want to bump it up a little, Let's see. Nope, I changed my mind. It's showing the green through, so I'm just gonna leave it like it is. I like it the way the colors are. So I'm gonna glue this again. Now this little piece you could actually use the gl gl actual liquid glue because it's thicker, but I'm just gonna use the um, glue stick. And then here we go. Hello, my friend. You guys got another card to send to somebody. Oops. Did you see that? It wasn't even straight. <laughs> I told you guys I'm going to be famous for not having my card straight. Okay. There we go. And so we're going to put this stuff away. Put our lid back on before we lose it. Okay. So this is our actual last card of this series. And it is a hello card. I know you guys are going to be super surprised. I love this paper. So you're going to get either the blue set or this like brown and gold set. Okay, so let's show you. 
you guys see. Um, so they have flip sides just like that um, paper. Um, so what we're going to do here is do your card. I think I'm actually going to... Okay, so this is actually going to be landscape, but you're going to turn it to the side. So it opens like this. And this one has got a lot of dimension because it has lots of layers. So what I did with this one is I matted it so that it could be popped up. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to actually start with this. And I'm going to um, take my flowers. Now, these flowers are not really directional. Like, I'm going to, you know, so it doesn't really matter. You don't have to worry too much about which way you're going to get your flowers to go. Or you could do your stripes. So this, um, this is actually a different way. So I'm going to do the flowers on this one. Okay, let's do flowers. So I like this one because it um, just has a lot of dimension. It's pretty, pretty paper. It's kind of, you know, just easy and sweet. So I'm gonna put it right there. And just like, um, has just like the mat poking out from the back. Um, and we are going to please check and make sure which side you guys want to do. So um, I'm going to add this. And let's see. There you go. Okay. So the idea is to put the opposite paper totally up to you. If you want flower on flower on flower, that's fine. I'm going to actually do the stripes. Okay, so I'm going to glue this side down and then attach it to my card. Get my edges. Get those silly edges right so we can push them down. That's usually what gets caught like when you're going to put on in it an envelope is the edges. I can't talk today. I'm sorry. Um... Oops, <laughs> silly me. Okay, so this also has a very, very slight edge. I just wanted a little bit poking out. I don't know if you can tell I like that design of card, huh? <laughs> okay, so then we are gonna, I'm actually gonna liquid glue this because it's heavier than, um, like just regular paper, it's because it's doubled. And we're gonna get my glue out. So, gonna come close to the edges, but not quite on the edge, right? So we don't make a glue mess, because I forgot my paper towel. I know, I'm crazy and forgetful. <laughs> okay, so what you do with this is you're gonna either put it straight or you can like put it to the side so it's like kind of crooked right I'm gonna actually put mine to the side because I like the way that looks but um, that's up to you okay pat softly with because of your liquid glue on the back right okay and then we're gonna take this one and your I'm gonna do it this way so it's slightly crooked the other way. And I'll put my liquid glue on this one because it's slighter, it's a little heavier because we have it doubled up, right? That mat makes all the difference. Also, because it's heavy, it won't buckle under the liquid glue. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. And I was just sitting here thinking you guys could actually do a stripe, a flower, a stripe, or flower, stripe, flower. You don't have to do it like mine. I just realized that. Silly me. 
don't know if I, um, I like giving you guys choices so you guys can put your personal mark on your cards. So that's always fun, huh? I love snail mail. I love getting like, I consider this like happy mail. So I'm always super excited when something comes in the mail. I don't know about you guys, but being grown up's hard and sometimes you need some happy mail to make it through the day, right? Okay, and then you just add your circle and I'm adding mine right in the middle. I think that's probably a good spot for it. Um, Cause if you guys put it over here on the edges, it'll like bend down. And actually this card is good to go. It actually could go in the mail because we have a good um, support. So if you guys wanna send this one through the mail, you can. And then our card is done. Okay. Okay, my question for this episode is what is, oops, let me stick it up there. What is your favorite card? Hmm? What do you guys think? Should I tell you mine? Hmm? I actually really like this. Oh, hello. I it's something about this paper. I know me and paper. I love paper, right? <laughs> okay, guys. I will see you in the last episode. And we're rounding it out with holidays. Winter holidays. See you then.